Okay, so next up we have David from uh, Gravity. So if you'd like to uh, come onto the stage. And here we are. Hello. So David, how was my uh, pronunciation of your name? It's perfect, Alan, it's perfect. It's the Excellent. one I was expecting. <laughs> Great. My yeah, I'll leave you to it, carry on. Thank you very much. Alan. All right, <laughs> so uh, hi everyone, uh, bonjour à tous. Uh, thanks for joining this session and thanks to the API Days organizers uh, for having me uh, for uh, this great event. Uh, I'm very pleased and I'm really pleased to talk today about the API management, uh, the AI hybrid way and the global deployment at scale with centralized management. Maybe before going further, uh, just some word about uh, myself. So I'm, I am uh, David Brasley. I am the CTO and one of the co-founder of Gravity.io API platform. You can find more about us, about the company, about our projects uh, from the link uh, on the right of uh, this slide. So what about the agenda uh, for this session? First, we will have a look to uh, what are the reasons why you will need uh, to go for the hybrid API management, what are the benefits, but also what are the weaknesses of the different deployment scenario. In a second step, we will look into what could be an hybrid deployment when dealing with uh, all the, let's say, the customer requirements. And finally, uh, during the last part of this talk, uh, it will be about how to manage how and how easy it is to go for this hybrid API management with gravity and to how to meet most of the hybrid requirements. So uh, let's start with why you should go and what you will need for this hybrid API management. First, it is uh, important to consider uh, before knowing why it's important for you to go for hybrid API management, it is important to consider why and what are the benefits, but also the weaknesses of the traditional options to deploy your API management, which are, you know, the on-prem and cloud deployments. The first one and the typical one is about the on-prem API management solution uh, deployment. Uh, you can see on uh, this slide. Traditionally, uh, the platform is deployed and managed uh, internally, and everything is installed within this uh, company network. And most of the time, when starting with the API management in mind, first usages are scoped to the company itself, and API and data are exposed for enterprises, applications for local consumption. That is basically the first point when you are putting your head in the API management. That is the reason why on-prem API management could switch your organization's requirements at the very beginning of, the API, of your API journey. And on-prem API management is providing many benefits to the organization, to your organization. The first and maybe the most obvious point is about the latency. Since you have every components which are part of your company network, uh, including the backend services, it is the best solution to ensure a lowest latency. Moreover, it provides more control on the platform, but also more flexibility. You can deploy wherever you want within your network and scale all the management components depending on your needs and more speci specifically, uh, depending on the uh, expected traffic. Finally, there is absolutely no need to expose your backend services through external network, which makes easier the integration with 
all your backend services. Uh, maybe uh, a last point is about also uh, the customizability. You may probably need uh, to use some static IPs, or maybe you want to define some specific ciphers uh, for your, all your TLS communication. This could be handled and be managed by only by on-prem deployment. But unfortunately, uh, nothing is perfect, even with the API management space. And one of the major weaknesses with on-prem deployment is all about uh, operationals. Search time of deployment could require a, a lot of resources, which can be both human, but also hardware resources. And this ends with a global cost, which could be very high. Uh, another point is about uh, the visibility of your APIs uh, itself. Uh, having everything within your organization's network will make maybe less easier for you to onboard some external consumers like your partners. The other option is about you know, the cloud API management. Uh, the API management cloud vendors are, we can say that, they are more and more popular and mostly by the fact that they are providing a secure, a scalable platform without to consider the task of managing, of maintaining a platform of, of, on top of an underlying infrastructure. And it provides to people all they need to subscribe quickly to a SaaS offer and build their digital business uh, strategy. Quite obvious to say that the cloud platform is resolving most of the issues from an on-prem installation by reducing the maintenance, by reducing and ensure all the uh, availability concerns as there is no more uh, infrastructure to manage. Based on that point, based on that particular point, the logical continuation is about the cost. Less infrastructure to manage also means less people to maintain the platform. It's quite obvious. So the promise of the SaaS platform is based on a single strategic point. Be focused on your business and we take care about the rest just for you. But again, as we've seen previously with on-prem deployment, nothing is perfect even for the cloud API management. And full cloud API management solution and platform could not be the right solution for your organization depending on your usage of the platform and your requirements. Uh, first, of this witness is that cloud platform switch well when most of the traffic is coming outside uh, from your company network. But what if most of the services are consumed within your organization itself, assuming that backend services are also exposed within the company network? This will cause a lot of round trips and it will degrade for sure the global response times by adding unnecessary latency. Uh, the second point is about something I would call an, let's say, an indirect cost. Uh, if your backend services are exposed within your company network, you have two solutions in front of you. One is to expose your backend services uh, on the internet. And the second option is, is to pay for a VPN. And I'm pretty sure that we all know that the cost for a good v, uh, about the cost for a good VPN solution. Last point, and maybe one of the most critical to your organization, have some cloud services or better solutions to more uh, organizations, you could prefer to maintain sensitive data within the limits of the enterprise rather than, let's say, trusting a cloud vendor. And so, depending on the nature of your services and data you are providing, let's say you're working on 
banking, healthcare, and you are facing some uh, GDPR constraints, you have to ensure compliance and security if all those things are going through the cloud. Finally, when we have the benefits, but also let's say the major drawbacks of all the previous models in mind, it's becoming quite legitimate to, to legitimate to think about what could be and what would be the best solution for your organization. And now it's time to focus on the solutions provided by the hybrid API management deployment model. With cloud providers, we probably found the best way to minimize maintenance cost and minimize the difficulty by reducing the infrastructure and the need for additional resources to maintain all those things. But the biggest challenge is to resolve, resolve uh, with platforms from cloud providers are essentially about three main points, the latency, conformance, and security. And the most suitable solution to respond to this problem is quite simple. You have to run your gateways from everywhere you want. You can use API Gateway if you want to access APIs from or maybe for your partners, but you can also deploy on-prem API Gateway within your organization's network if you have strong requirements in terms of global performances and security. Hybrid API management must provide you with the best solution for you to be focused and to be agile on your business while ensuring high standards in terms of conformance and security and keep it, keeping overall traffic performance on top of your mind. Over the past few years, uh, we've seen an incredible growth of microservices, which results in the need for your organization for a full centralized API management platform. And this platform can be hosted either in private cloud or private uh, or in a private cloud platform. But having a cent this centralized vision in mind does not mean that you have to forget about decentralizing ownership of your APIs. And you should take benefits of the hybrid approach to improve the agility and meeting the business requirements and your business strategy. And this is exactly where the hybrid approach is exciting. Each project team, you should be able to manage their own APIs from a single and a centralized platform. And the interesting thing also is that having, uh, uh, is that uh, instead of having uh, to share the gateway infrastructure, as we've seen from the previous uh, slide, it could be better to run and maintain API gateways by the team itself. This will give them uh, the power and the full control on their APIs and let them to decide whether they choose for an on-premise gateway or maybe a private cloud gateway. And again, uh, giving them uh, the opportunity to deploy their own gateway closer to the backend services will also reduce the network latency and will reduce uh, and avoid uh, unnecessary run trips. And I'm sure you all remember about the cost point we discussed for the on-prem model, as it was one of the major uh, drawback uh, for such solution. But in that case, by letting uh, each team managing its own gateway infrastructure, it means that you can split the cost on a per project basis. And it can be an interesting model since the traffic and the requirements are not equally shared between all the APIs of your organization. And now that we discuss about the different deployment model, it's time to focus on how Gravity.io can help you to succeed on this hybrid approach. And here, the purpose is not really to discuss about should I, I choose for a centralized management from a provider or do I have to deploy everything on a private cloud? I just want to show you how easy it is with Gravity.io to answer uh, all requirements we've seen from the previous slides. And so first, uh, 
it is very important to say that any existing installation of gravity can be used to evolve to an hybrid, hybrid API management platform. And one of the fundamental piece of gravity.io is that all of, all of our uh, components are plugin based, which gives you the incredible power to extend uh, the platform just by dropping some plugins within the installation itself. Until now, <coughs> to support this uh, hybrid mode, with Gravity, you had to add uh, those additional plugins to make it work. And starting from the next Gravity.io 3.5 version scheduled for uh, next week, uh, the API gateway will be, by nature, hybrid compatible, meaning that any of your API gateway could connect remotely to a centralized management platform. That's incredible. This connection could be used for multiple things. One is for the configuration from, let's say, the management store. One will be used to also to push metrics to the centralized platform because we are still looking to use you know, all the analytics features uh, from your API management platform, but in a centralized way. And maybe some words about those metrics. Depending on the traffic uh, on your platforms, the amount uh, of data between the gateway infrastructure and the centralized platform can be quite huge. What if you are managing, what if you're handling, let's say, several uh, millions of calls, of API calls per day? And it's rough to say that by default, Gravity relies on Elasticsearch to manage all those metrics. And so you can benefit from all its features to put in place the best architecture and maybe the best tools for your, net, for your metrics. And one of the things I have in mind uh, now is about this pro the cross-cluster search functionality from, e uh, from Elasticsearch, which allows you to manage and to distribute all those metrics between all the network where you will need to deploy your API gateway. Also, you can see from this slide that we have just an icon for Redis, uh, which is part of its schema. We are using Redis to store all the local counters, you know, for rate limiting, for quota, and then uh, lastly, a spike arrest. And obviously, you can switch to any other kind of data storage for, thanks to the plugin layer. So, for example, you can move to PostgreSQL, for example. We choose to put this storage within the gateway infrastructure just to improve the latency and to reduce the round trips with the centralized platform. So when you are dealing with this kind of counters, everything is stored locally within your gateway infrastructure. infrastructure. Some of the features are really relevant some features from Gravity are really relevant in that case, in that scenario, when we are, you are dealing with a hybrid deployment. One is about the sharding tags, which allows you to manage all you are deploying uh, your APIs within um, two different uh, API gateway, let's say, cluster. So you can say uh, this uh, particular API, I want this one to be deployed only on my cloud or maybe private cloud network. And this particular API, because we have a lot of uh, uh, constraint uh, data, uh, we have to ensure confirmance and security. We have to deploy them on my private uh, internal network. But it's basically the way you can go with gravity. So basically, you can get gravity, you deploy it, and it's already available for an hybrid deployment thanks to our connector. Maybe before concluding uh, this session, um, some words about the Gravity API platform itself, which shows for us the easiest to use, most performant and cost effective API platform. Gravity is basically composed by two let's say, a community, uh, community projects, which are our API management project, but also our access management project. Both two are provided under, under the Apache V2 license and are composing uh, the community edition of the Gravity.io API platform. 
we are also providing, providing something called the Enterprise Edition, where more modules are part of this specific edition. The first one is about our alert engine, which is used to collect all the events from your whole platform, from the API management, from the access management, to monitor, to analyze, and to notify all your API publisher, or maybe the security team, et cetera, et cetera, depending on the rules you are, uh, you are setting. Uh, second part and second module of this enterprise edition is our cockpit, which is basically which is basically providing all the multi-tenancy features you are looking for when dealing with hybrid API uh, management. So it will provide you the features you need to manage the organizations, uh, the environments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And last. We talked a lot about it during this session. Is about the hosting and our cloud hosting, uh, which are uh, which we are offering as part of our uh, enterprise edition. That's all for me. I don't know about the time, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Great, thanks, David. That was uh, oh, David. Yeah, made the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. If I screen. can. All right, and ah. while we're uh, we're going there, um, it's a matter of interest. The, the customers you you get, do they do they you know from day one go towards like this hybrid approach, or, or do they start you know more on on premise or on cloud and then go hybrid at a later point in time? So currently, uh, I could say that most of the customers are looking for. Uh, on-prem uh, deployment, uh, basically because uh, some of them are, as I said during the session, uh, they are starting their API journey. We, we all know that they could be a, a, a bit late. That's, that's the purpose. But yeah, uh, they are starting and they have to learn. And the first idea they have in mind is to say, OK, I need API management, so let's start with uh, the on-prem uh, on deployment. And then when they are seeing uh, all it is you know difficult to to deploy an api management platform because it evol involves a lot of different tools because you need some data storage etc cetera, etc cetera. i talked about uh, elastic search they say okay now we are maybe a bit more mature uh, with api management uh, let's keep this on-prem things and let's go to uh, a SaaS and the cloud offer and see what we can do and what could be the challenge we can face uh, with it. Yeah, they'd have probably save themselves some headaches if they had the trust in the in the cloud version yeah. from day one, right? But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we understand how these big corporations work. And uh, so um, you also mentioned one thing about, you know, like this metric data, right? So you got potentially like, you know, gigabytes of, of metric data hanging around. Do you have any examples, especially real world examples to what customers are doing with that data? Are they able to like extract like meaningful information from it and, and take action on that okay yeah you're right it's really hard to manage and to maintain all of those metrics data uh, depending on, on the traffic and you can face a huge a, a huge uh, amount of data uh, with all those metrics uh, most of the time uh, we are relying at gravity on Elasticsearch. So I'm pretty sure that everyone knows uh, knows about uh, Elasticsearch. So we are using, you know, something called uh, ELM. I don't remember exactly what's the purpose of, of ELM, but uh, what's the meaning of ELM, but uh, ILM. But basically, you can set up some rules to uh, manage your uh, index data and to uh, remove and purge uh, those data. Uh, at uh, at uh, at some rate, okay. Um, for some of our uh, biggest customers, we are also relying on something called uh, the cross cluster search feature from Elasticsearch, uh, which allows you not to centralize all those metrics into a single uh, Elasticsearch uh, cluster, but allows you to distribute all those data into, let's say. 
different uh, region of, of, of the world. So you can have some gateways in Europe with a dedicated, uh, dedicated Elasticsearch cluster in, in Europe. And let's say you have something in, uh, I don't know, maybe in US. So you will have your gateways cluster in US with an additional Elasticsearch clusters. And then you have to use some use this cross cluster features of Elasticsearch to, uh, to distribute the metrics query uh, to the different uh, cluster uh, distributed over the world. Okay, great. Hey, we've got time for just a very quick answer to this question from Jeremy. Uh, what about federating gateways on-prem and cloud from different providers to form like a global centralized platform? So I'm not sure I understand the, the very beginning of the question. What, what about you say? Sorry. So let go back to the question. So uh, the federating of the the gateways from different providers. Can can you federate? You know, I don't know if you got like new ah, software. federating. Right? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I, I I got you. Uh, yeah. No problem. Uh, so you 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 can still do it, uh, and you can do it with gravity as you know the the bridge. Something we are calling the bridge within gravity is based on uh, is based on the HTTP protocol. So it's just a, let's say a secured uh, secure web socket protocols uh, between the centralized management and all the distributed API gateways. And so whatever you are deploying uh, on private cloud or let's say any of the AWARES, Google, GCP, IKS, etc., uh, you, 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 you can deploy Gravity there and, and use these uh, hybrid connectors to plug them to any existing uh, management, uh, centralized management platform. Okay. Okay, I see. Um, well, one last question from my side then. I'm, obviously, my company um, produces API portals as a service. Um, I, I haven't yet integrated Gravity, but yeah. uh, that's you know obviously now next on my to-do list. But do you guys have your own API portal, developer portal on, on the side? Yeah, we, we are providing our own uh, API portal. Uh, we have entirely uh, uh, refactor it uh, in the last version of Gravity, so the 3.x uh, in late uh, last uh, May 2020. Uh, so yeah, we are providing a very powerful and with a lot of features, not only focused you know, on, okay, I am able to provide a swagger for my API. It's not, you know, a portal is not just to provide a swagger to, 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 to communicate about your services and the data. It's also about the way you are onboarding the users, the, the way they are discovering the, discovering the API, the way they have to subscribe to APIs, or they can discover the different plans, security type, etc., etc. So yeah, we are providing it. And uh, I think it's one of the most uh, powerful uh, API portal uh, in, in, in the market. But I'm really interested on what you're planning. Yes, yes. I think we see it the same way. So I think we're going to have an interesting conversation sure. after that. With Thank pleasure. you uh, very yeah. much. It was a very interesting call uh, talk. And uh, yeah. Thank, Thank you very much, Alan.